So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about what would be considered a plugin. Um, there's kind of lots of ways to think about this, but um, and you can use it kind of broadly. But what we're going to talk about is essentially, if you noticed in some of the screencasts or if you look here, um, yours are just going to be text links, but we're going to turn these into icons, right? And the you know kind of the harder way of doing it, but the more straightforward is just making an image for each one of these and then putting them in there. But there's lots of um, add-ons and I'm going to call them just for lack of a better word plugins uh, to kind of capture everything that you can use that is code that other people have created um, that is considered open source or free to use and you can use that as part of um, your website. So one example of that and how we're going to do this is called Font Awesome. Uh, it's the same kind of thing and obviously you can buy a license but they have free versions as well um, with the basics and what this is is it's an icon set right so obviously if you pay you get more icons but we don't have a real crazy huge website and we can get a lot done with what they have for free and a lot of people actually use this one there's multiple out there um, but font awesome works pretty easily um, so we're essentially gonna have these icons now you can pick out the icons if you don't have Twitter or you don't want to put your email or whatever it is you just need to have a few um, so you can kind of decide what those icons are and I'll show you how that works really quick so essentially you can kind of go to their icons and you can look and see they got a ton if we click on free just so we know we're looking at the right ones you get 1200 for free so we're not lacking in icons but if you search for it you get email um, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. So they have some options. So you can kind of decide which icons you're actually going to use. Now these are just the ones that are offered. You don't have to download anything or anything like that. But the reason we wait until now to kind of talk about this is when we go to how to use, when we read the instructions, you don't need to understand all of it, but we can, we can kind of tell, all right, forget managing files, use icons right away, use our CDN to deliver cached versions of Font Awesome. That's kind of fancy, but we can kind of see like there's some options here. We get something that looks like code that we're starting to get familiar with, right? And it says, call Font Awesome in your files. Place this code, which contains everything you need within the head of each template or page that you want to use Font Awesome, right? So all we got to do is copy that and what we're going to do, and I already have this in here, I'm just going to be kind of showing you where it's at. But inside of the head of our document, and remember we have the head of our document, inside of there, we're going to paste that code, right? And it's a little bit gnarly, there's lots of stuff going on. We don't have to know anything more than we just need to have that inside of our head. You will see that there's releases or a version. So eventually you might want to like replace this with a newer version, but you're pretty good for a while, okay? So if we go back to Font Awesome, right, then it says add icons to your UI. And it, it, it doesn't tell you exactly what to do, but um, we can kind of go over here. It do, this does make sense once you've used it once. Like we're going to use the I tag to do things. But when we go to basic use, you actually kind of see, oh, okay, I'm going to use an I tag, an HTML tag. And then there's a class with one, two, classes attached to it. Now we didn't write any of those classes in our CSS. That's the thing we just put in the head, right? So we're calling out classes that they're giving us, okay? And those classes are essentially little images or SVGs that actually show this kind of stuff, right? So you see that there's pro versions and um, we essentially have the solid ones and the brands. Uh, the brands are like Amazon or Facebook or Twitter or whatever like that. So uh, you can kind of pick the ones you want. That's what that other screen is. But the gist of it is, is we need to put FAS or FAB space and then call out the icon that we want. Okay? So if I go back over here to what I had, again, you can pick the icons that you're going to have. Uh, down at the bottom, we have an unordered list and then we have an A tag around the list item for the unordered list, right? And then this part right here. We have an open I tag with a class, and then that FAS or FAB, depending on what icon you're using. And then we have the, essentially the icon we want to use. And then this last one is an option to scale it, right? 
and then we close off the class. So this actually has one, two, three classes there, and then it closes the I tag, right? So you can kind of see that. I'm going to kind of leave it up so you can pause the screen and kind of see the different parts. But we have one, two, three tags there going on inside an unordered list. So it gets a little bit crazy, but just kind of pay attention to what's opening and closing. Okay, so we have the essentially the font book or the set. So this is the solid, this is the brands. Then we have the font we want to use, right? So envelope for email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And then this is the scaling. So if we go back into Font Awesome, you actually see that there's some styling we can do without having to write CSS. We can just call out things specifically. So if I go to sizing icons, you'll see what I was doing there. There's all different ways to actually scale these icons. Okay, so you can pick the size, you can pick the font or pick the icon that you want to use. Um, there's some transitions and animations and all kinds of stuff that you can do. So feel free to play around with as much as you want. It's really pretty cool. Uh, what they offer um, and it's worth checking out because you can kind of make your site your you know have a little bit of flavor and a little bit of like more like what you're into or what you want it to feel like if somebody hovers over your social icons or contact icons okay now that's one example and that's one that you have to do for this project so you will have to get those icons doesn't have to be very many of them at least one obviously um, but you need to have icons showing up using font awesome for this project now when I say plugins, other options that you can add on top of beyond the Font Awesome icons um, are what would be traditionally plugins. Um, there's a light box, so if you have um, portfolio pieces, um, you could kind of click on it and it does this kind of number, you see that a lot. And it's the same kind of thing, it's an open source software that you, uh, this one you actually have to download some stuff and there's a little bit of instructions, but it's totally uh, easy to kind of follow now that you know the basics it kind of does the same thing put this in your head put this at the closing of the body and then call out these things um, after you've kind of put it in the files that you have uh, locally and then upload them remotely okay so you can do something called a light box uh, you can do something that's uh, probably considered an, uh, an image slider right uh, and this is the same kind of thing you download some stuff you put it on your site uh, and then you can kind of just follow their directions of how to actually use it and um, yeah so uh, this is where it's starting to dabble in what's what's called JavaScript um, and we don't need to say anything more other than you'll see some files called .js uh, and you don't have to write JavaScript you just have to be able to like kind of move those files in the right spot and kind of follow directions but again if you kind of run into issues come find one of us and we can kind of walk work you through it but for the Web3 project, you do need to uh, have some icons using Font Awesome in the footer of your website.